Yo, what is up guys? It's the Goblin. I'm back here with another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the possibility of new weapons coming to Call of Duty Black Ops 3 multiplayer from these weapons that we have leaked coming to zombies and possibly multiplayer. I'm going to be going over all of it in today's video. So if you guys could do me a favor or if you guys want to hit that subscribe button, also drop a like on this thing. That would be absolutely awesome if you guys could do that for me. And let's talk about this. So there was a bit of a leak or a pretty big leak that came out about a day and a half ago talking about these four new guns coming to Black Ops 3. Some of you guys may have seen info on this already some of you guys may know of it some of you guys may not but even if you do know the info i did quite a bit of research into this and basically came up with all the stuff because a lot of youtubers will just announce saying here's the leak you guys take it as you will i like to go a bit more in depth than that and uh you know analyze a little bit and see what we have here so i'm going to explain everything right now in this video and talk about these possible weapons will they be coming to zombies will they be coming to multiplayer and everything like that so first of all what happened is there was this leak on reddit if you guys don't know the call of duty black ops 3 reddit is a very popular place for a bunch of people to that look at the in-game code and leak stuff to put it up there. You guys probably know that because I do a lot of videos referenced to, referencing to Reddit. So basically this guy, Void Glitch, who is usually a reliable guy, came out with this leak of the game's code. Now, when I went back and looked at this Reddit link, the image that he actually put up there was deleted. This means most likely, you know, it's more legit because he wouldn't delete it unless, you know, someone came in and deleted it for him or something like that. But basically, I'll show you guys what the image said. It basically didn't say that much. As far as I know, this is what it said. It just had these game codes for the PPSH, the Skull Gun, the Sten, and the Tesla, which I'll show up on the screen right now. And that's basically all it showed on this article. Um, I'll link everything down in the description if you really want to know it. So as we can see, this showed in the in-game code Sten, PPSH, Skull Gun, and Tesla Gun. I'll be talking about all those. But basically, we have to take this with a grain of salt. Obviously, someone could have just made this up, written a few underscores in there, and it looks like the game code. And that's why we can't take this as 100% proof. So what makes me to believe, to believe this is true is the, because of the guy, Void Glitch. He has a pretty good back record with these things, and he has quite a few good leaks coming out soon. Now, the stuff that we're going to talk about in this video is, are these legit, and will they be coming to multiplayer? Because these were leaked, he said, found in the zombies code. So we need to take that you know, into account. Eclipse is coming out. The new DLC number two, most likely all of these things are going to be coming to the zombies maps and I'm going to explain why I think certain ones will be coming to multiplayer and why I think certain ones won't. So basically let's go over what the, what the guns are first of all. The Sten is basically like the Type 100. We have the Sten in Advanced Warfare. I'll show a picture of that up on the screen right now. Some of you guys may remember this one. It's like the bootlegger from zombies, the Type 100 from World at War. It's the Sten from Advanced Warfare. The next one is the PPSH. This is a loved submachine gun in Call of Duty. Um, World at War is where it was most popular. PPSH is a loved gun. The Skull Gun, what I looked up, I couldn't find really anything on that. And when I looked up the Tesla Gun, I did get this image, and it basically says it's sort of like a wonder weapon in, um, you know, call in zombies or something like that. Um, it seems like I don't have the best zombies knowledge of all time, but this seems like the Tesla Gun is some sort of a ray gun, energized gun, something of that nature. That's not what I'm here to talk about today. Those ones are obviously all these will be coming to zombies most likely because of the source. Now. The two that go out of this list will probably be coming to multiplayer will be the Sten and the PPSH. Now, I don't think both of these are going to be coming to multiplayer. I'm going to give you guys a few reasons why I think you know, why I think the things that I do, I guess you could say. So first off, I want to say we have the MP40 in Black Ops 3 already. Like I said, we already have our first and uh, our first submachine gun DLC and the MP40 was actually named the HG40. So these things are most likely going to be coming to zombies, the Sten and the PPSH. And I think that one of these guns will be brought to multiplayer. I think that it's most likely going to be the PPSH because people, you know, the bigger YouTubers are actually recommending that to Treyarch. Um, T. Martin said in his video, the bigger YouTubers were recommending that to track when they're actually at the studios and i think the ppsh will be coming in uh, you probably the next bunch of weapons that we have or the next bunch after that into black ops 3 dlc through supply drops or whatever hopefully not through supply drops but i think that they're going to change the name because this is usually what they do the mp40 became the hg40 i think the ppsh if we're going to get that will have its name changed it will come to zombies as the ppsh and same with the sten will come to zombies all these were actually found in the, in the zombies code so they will come to zombies like that but i I think as far as multiplayer we are most likely going to see the PPSH and possibly even the Sten however if, if you know from my opinion I don't think we're going to get two 
two more SMG DLCs. We already have one SMG DLC. I think we're probably going to receive one more or maybe two more by the end of the year. But basically, I don't think these both will be coming out in the next drop. I think probably we'll get the PPSH and then the rest of these will stay in zombies for now. That's just my opinion going through all this information that I've had. So if you guys are a zombies player, you can look forward to probably all four of these coming. And if you guys are multiplayer fans like myself, you I want you guys to let me know in the comment section down below. Which of these guns would you like to see in the multiplayer? Um, probably the standard, the PPSH would fit. I don't really know any info on the Skull Gun or the Tesla Gun doesn't seem like it would fit, you know, as a normal thing. It seems more like an advanced warfare weapon than a Black Ops 3 weapon. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. Probably the PPSH, I'd say, is the most likely to come to uh, multiplayer. But the Sten, I wouldn't mind seeing the Sten as well. I was a big fan of the Type 100 and the PPSH weapons. Obviously, I'm a big submachine gun player. And if these came to Black Ops 3 multiplayer, that would be awesome. But I wanted to cover this, give you guys all the info. So if you guys are Zombies fans, you guys are multiplayer fans, you know all the correct info here. Thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate you guys. Drop a like on this thing. If you guys can, that would be awesome. If you guys could all drop a like. As always, subscribe for a cookie. And don't looky. Thanks for watching. And I'm out. Peace.